Hey guys, welcome to the show. I'm so excited to have my really good friend, Randy Greenberg, who's one of the top Hollywood executive producers for the movie, The Meg, which happens to be one of my son's all-time favorite movies, and Cowboys and Aliens and other great movies. I'm so excited to go in and talk to him, so let's go and check it out. my friend I'm good how are good you seeing you man nice to see you yeah we're doing the presidential uh, elbow you know shake how are you good having you here, I'm man. good thank you for having me yeah welcome to the studio what do you think cool huh it's really cool I really wish that I'd taken the drum and piano lessons that my mother and father wanted me to take do you play any no, musical instruments I don't I'm don't I, I don't really no well, I'm just so happy that you decided to come and talk to us and I wanted to introduce you on my show. So it's been, it's been great. I gotta tell you that, that my son is blown away by the Meg. You were not always a very successful executive producer in Hollywood, right? You, tell me a little bit about, first of all, let's talk about how we met. So uh, we, were, we were at a dinner, an event, um, for the uh, Chinese U.S. film industry, uh, or whatever that amalgamation is called. Yeah. Um, you said something snarky like, why are we here? <laughs> and I said, I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> and, uh, um, and we were there to you know, celebrate you know, the best of the combined industries and, and um, you know, uh, fortunately, you know, uh, the film that I'd been working on, on The Meg, uh, had been up for a couple of awards and, and the lead producer, Belle Avery, was actually there and yeah. she got to accept all those awards. So it was a, it was a nice night to celebrate um, the, the, the two industries. When did you come to Hollywood? When, how did it all start? Well, first of all, you come so, from what? what I grew up in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, so uh, there was a multiplex. One of the very first multiplexes was in my hometown. Um, but I, I went to the movies all the time to see whatever was out. They, the the Six West at at, uh, at West Roads played everything that came out was there, uh, and it was great. And then you know there were, uh, you know I'm old, so there were three channels when I grew up: ABC, NBC, and CBS, and PBS, and. Um, the TV Guide, which at one point in time in, in oh, this yeah. country was the largest selling weekly, oh, yeah. weekly oh, yeah. magazine with 25 million copies. We used to go to the grocery store. And get it. Was every up, Friday, that was like the every thing. Friday night we, when yeah. my dad and I went shopping, yeah. we'd pick up the next week and, and they had the fall preview. Right. The week before all the shows would start and they would have one page for every single show. And I would write down if the show was going to make it or if it didn't. And, mm -hmm. and, um, and I was like 90, 95% right. Um, I, I love this business. I always wanted to come out here. Um, I got an internship at Warner Brothers when I was 20 in accounting um, over a summer. A fraternity brother of mine, um, had, uh, his father worked at Warner's and um, I was able to get an internship. Um, and, I, and I got to see all the real numbers from Warner Brothers. And in, in, in every single one of their movies, I did, I did profit and loss statements for every single one of their movies from 1970 to 1987. So that's how long ago it was. And every single one of their movies made money, mm. except for one. And, um, and I thought, this is the business I want to be in. I was able to get a job in, um, in PR um, at an international PR company. And the first movie I worked on was Field of Dreams. Oh, wow. And, right. and then... It was Total Recall and Terminator 2 and Basic Instinct and Narrow Margin and the list goes on. But, you know, I spent six years there and, and really worked my way up to a, a senior publicist and, and an account executive. And my clients were Carol Cohen, Morgan Creek and Village Roadshow and Avenue. And um, I was there. I was Quentin Tarantino's international publicist when he first 
made reservoir dogs. Um, I sent him around, around the world. Well, he was willing to go anywhere, and we sent him anywhere that would have him. Yeah. Um, and um, it, was a, it was a great time. There were the go-go days in the, uh, of the late 80s, early 90s, of when movies were exploding, and you could make a movie about anything, and, and a video was you know, a cash video cow. Video rental video, was huge, video, right? video rental and Blockbuster, yeah, blockbuster. Was, I mean, they were huge. So were you thinking, when you are running, let's say, international publicity, were you thinking about becoming a producer or an executive producer at that time? I was thinking about being a producer when I was six. Oh, okay. <laughs> so okay. I always so wanted, was, so again, to go all the way back, like, I always wanted to be yeah. in the entertainment business. Got I didn't know exactly where, but a producer is where I you know, thought, um, and I needed a job. I needed to make money, I had to pay my bills, right? I, I took out student loans, I mean, all that, right? right? right. And, and every job in Hollywood, when I started, paid the same amount of money, 300 bucks a week, yeah. 14, 14 for a year, that's it. So I took the PR job, and the PR job in International really exposed me to the world and to the, to, to the to what ultimately is, was the growing part of the, the really growing part of the business. And I loved it. And I always wanted to travel. Um, so it, it got me to travel around the world. And, and it really opened my eyes to, you know, the world of entertainment, not just in Hollywood, but outside of Hollywood. How did that come about for you to be involved in the Meg? I mean, I know it's based on a book, correct? Uh, based on a book written by Steve Alton. And I think it came out in 1997. Um, while I was home trying to figure out what I wanted to do next, uh, my wife wound up getting a, uh, my wife is a children's author illustrator. Yes. She's and great, by the way. I thank you. Love Ruthie says hello, by the thank way. Thank you. So, she does so, great work. Um, so um, her agent called up one day. Um, her agent had sold three of her books to, uh, uh, to a publisher. And we were working on, um, I was helping um, manage my wife, if you will, because she's creative and not business. Right. So I was doing the business side, and the agent called up one day and said, look, one of my other clients has um, optioned a book to a producer, and that producer um, could probably use your skill set. You should meet this, this producer, Bill Avery. I said, sure. I said, because when, when your wife's agent calls and says, I need a favor, yeah. you just say yes, <laughs> right? Because that, right. that's what you do. You just right. say yes. So, um, so I, I took the meeting with, um, with Bell, and and she had a, a producing partner, uh, Colin Wilson. Um, and I fell in love with both of them right away. So we hit it off and uh, Belle was looking for somebody who could bring in distribution um, uh, and also uh, work on some of the underlying uh, uh, rights issues and, and, um, and, and really structure it uh, and, and, and focus on the marketing and distribution and the licensing and merchandising and the product placement. It's a big, fun, action, adventure, yeah. sci-fi movie, right? So, um, so that's how it happened. It was my wife's literary agent who asked for a favor. Uh, let's talk about, uh, you know, that's obviously not the only movie you've been involved. Another movie, Cowboys and Aliens, with Harrison Ford. And Daniel Craig. And Daniel Craig. Indiana Jones 007 and, and guy, James Bond. Right? Right, and James exactly. Bond, yes. Right. What was that? I mean, I... I know Steven Spielberg was was not directed by John Favreau, right? Yeah. And then and Steven Spielberg, we, Spielberg was a was uh, involved, yep. and so there were some really, really big Ron names. Howard, Ron Howard, Ron yeah. Howard, correct? Yeah. So how did that come about, and what was that experience like to be involved with those amazing, amazing I, group of guys? I know a little bit of that. Um, I I wasn't involved in that from from the beginning, um, but uh, it was an idea. That came about around the same time as Meg, about 97, 96, 97, something like that. Yeah. Um, from a company called Platinum Studios. And, um, and the comic ultimately came out uh, later in like 2006, 2007. Um, it was a graphic novel that came out. You know, the movie was not a financial success. Um, it's gained kind of a you know, a small cult following. Yeah, I mean, um, I, but, I, I loved it. But, I thought it was great. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but it's one where, you know, it, 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 and I had very little to do with that. I was, again, more on the, the rights and the marketing standpoint from the comic book company and, 
and um, that was really a John Favreau and and um, and Bobby Cohen and the guys over at um, uh, over at Ko Paper Products and and um, that's Kurtzman and Ortsy and and Imagine and I mean they were the really ones that were and it was Favreau really. But I think there's something about seeing futuristic technology yeah. in a dirt west setting, dirt yeah. west, you know, west setting. I think that's why. It so, works. But there's something. Yeah, see, and that's fine. why I think there's something that doesn't work. I think it's a great idea. I think there's something that doesn't work when you see those, you know, what that that futuristic technology in a dirt west setting. I think there's something that goes like it's fun to that watch. That doesn't belong together. Maybe not, but it was so, fun to watch. Yeah. So, Randy, I could sit here and talk with you all day. It was so interesting to talk to you. Yeah, but it's so just... interesting to talk to me. No, it's <laughs> not. You're being kind. You're Dave, being kind. I really appreciate you coming uh, here to the studio today. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank you guys for watching the show. And if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And I will see you on the next show.